Hello Leos. This is your love reading for the 27th through the 28th. This is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Welcome back. Thank you guys for coming to check me out. Please show me messages for Leo in love for March 27th through the 28th. Messages for Leo. The Nine of Wands. I'm feeling you guys, a lot of you guys are tired. Um, it's been a struggle. It's been a real struggle, I'm feeling. I'm hearing some of you saying, like, you know what? I'm trying, but, you know, this shit is hard. And there you are with the strength. Mm-hmm. Keep pushing on. A lot of you feel like, you know, you're almost there. Then we have the Three of Wands, a lot of fiery energy here. Um, wanting to make moves, wanting to make something happen. Um, there's something I feel like you guys, you know, almost like you felt like you couldn't make something happen. But, and you just kind of wanted to give up because it was easier to give up. But then a part of you is like, no, I'm not giving up on this. Um, I'm going to wait for what I deserve. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go get it. Okay. Um, could be an Aries individual that you guys are thinking about here. Somebody that I feel like um, challenges you um, and, and makes you sometimes feel like, you know what, this is not worth it. But I'm feeling you guys, you know, really not wanting to give up. Okay. And the full strong Aries energy here. Somebody I feel like you guys, um, you want to start over with. Okay. And you feel like this would be something that would be good and beneficial for you and for this individual. I feel like there's a strong attraction here. I feel like you guys have a lot of energy. Um, this individual may be younger than you. I feel like this person may take some convincing though. Okay. may take some convincing because I don't really see that they know what it is that you want. Okay. Please show me more about the Nine of Wands. Please show me more about the Nine of Wands. The King of Cups. Sagittarius, Scorpio energy here. Somebody that's very, I feel, controlled emotionally. Um, I feel like you have a lot of love for this person. And I feel like they have a lot of love for you. But what I'm getting here is that this person is, um, you know, emotionally stable emotionally secure within themselves but this is also a family person somebody that likes commitment too okay um maybe they feel like hang on one second guys i'm not gonna pause this i'm just gonna go and stop this phone hold on a second Sorry, guys. But this is somebody that is, um, they like commitment. And they're very controlled emotionally. But what I'm getting here is that there's nobody that they're currently involved with right now. I feel like they're waiting on the one. And that when that person comes, they will know it. Because they have, they have a faith, they have an inner knowing that, you know, when the person arrives or a situation arrives that they feel like is good for them, that they will know it. Okay. 
please show me more about strength. I feel like you guys really care about this person too. Please show me more about strength. Eight of Swords. I feel like it's something that, um, you know, you guys have struggled with this. It's something that really concerns you, um, whether or not this person is going to be accepting of whatever it is that you have to offer. Again, I don't see that this person um, really knows the turmoil or what you guys are actually um, going through or what you want. Okay, I don't see it. I see you worrying it for nothing. I see you being trapped in your own prison trying to figure out how to move forward. How to tap this person on the back and say, hey, here I am. <laughs> you know, do you want to take a leap of faith together? I really care about you. But it's like you just can't figure out or somebody here can't figure out you know how to um, embrace this gap uh, this person may live far away from you as well maybe across the water across the world I mean another state what have you please show me more about the three of wands here I almost flip that right off the table um, the ace of Pentacles yeah Mm -hmm. I feel, I'm feeling like you just don't know how to make this offer. Somebody does not know how to make this offer here because maybe you guys are not actually in communication. These are just thoughts that, that you have or they have that, you know, have not been shared with the other individual. An offer to date. Um, but whatever this is, I feel like somebody wants long term this is the beginning of something here but this is a pinnacle so this is something that is um that could lead to something substantial significant stable ten of pentacles is where we're trying to get to you know the 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 commitment that we're looking for the one where you know we have that rock in our life that's not going anywhere that's what this ace of pentacles leads to but you know we have to start somewhere please show me more about the fool please show me more about the fool two of pentacles mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i see you having a lot on your plate right now maybe there there is um another individual that you are currently involved with But I see that being up in the air because I feel like if this person, you know, was to take this offer, then there will be no more juggling. I feel like right now you guys just don't know what to do. You want to take that leap of faith with this individual, but you just don't know what to do. You want to build something with this individual. You want to work with them. And I feel like, um, you know, there's a strong possibility that something very significant could come out of this if maybe the other person was privy to what you guys were thinking here with this Eight of Swords energy. Okay. Let's see what energy is coming in for Leo. Seven of Pentacles. Taurus energy. What else? The Queen of Cups. I'm feeling like you guys, um, you're hoping that this person will, you're hoping that this person will definitely, you know, want to take a leap of faith with you. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups here. That's a couple. You're hoping that this person will want to take a leap of faith and invest in a connection with you to build on this Ace of Pentacles. 
And this Seven of Pentacles, invest the time and energy that it takes to really build a strong foundation here. Hmm. Why is this happening? The Nine of Cups, because they make you happy. You can see happiness with this person. You see good times with this person. And the Page of Cups. You want that 10th cup. You can see it. You can see it. And you feel like they would make you happy. Hmm. Cancer energy, um, I feel is strong here. Um, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn, Gemini, Sagittarius energy. I think I said Taurus already. Okay, guys. So that is what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys.